All right, so I'm here with my daughter again. We're reviewing another pack. This is actually her day pack, which is why she gets to be the one who opens it up and checks it out first. So this is going to be the Keen Springer. And it is a crossover day pack, um, but with something a little more to it. It is a little smaller than the ones that I've been reviewing. Obviously, she's a smaller person than I am, so it makes more sense to have a slightly smaller pack. Okay, go ahead and start opening it up. So, we didn't get this through Amazon Prime, did we? It took forever for it to get here, over a week. Crazy. All right, so go ahead and pull that out. Oh good, it is. It's actually a little bigger than I thought it would be. All right, here you go, Keen Springer. And uh, it's actually a good size pack, looking at it here. I'm surprised that the, it's as big as it is. Do you remember what the size of this is, Abigail? Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't say the size of it, but um, that would be important for us. So let's see if I can just do a quick look here. It is, it's a 29 year, actually, so this is a bigger pack than most of the packs I'm looking at. All right, so there's the front. So uh, why don't you, yeah, this is the suspension system, and most notably here, as you all know, if you've seen any of my videos, I consider this to be one of the most important features of a crossover day pack. Um, so now does it have a, um, a sternum strap, Abigail? I think so. Yeah. Interestingly, interestingly, it has a waist strap, but not a sternum strap. So. Frankly, it probably is a pack that I wouldn't have considered for myself. Um, the thing that's interesting about this, though, why don't you show them what this does? Unsnap from that fast X. No, not that one. From the one in the middle. Oh, I think you have to do both. No, you need to hold it together. It converts into one of those crazy creep chair-like things. So great for hiking because uh, Abigail can always sit on comfortable uh, a comfortable seat when we take a break and have our snacks. Kind of cool. All right, so let's take a look at the whole pack, Abigail. Here, why don't you give me those packaging pieces there. Hope you're keeping it. I know you're trashing it like that. It uh, looks like it has, a, it has two side mesh pockets, which are important for carrying her water, bar, water bottles on either side. And then we have a zipper compartment on the front, nice easy opening on the front here. And inside this we have, oh I'm sorry, this isn't the, oh, this is the main compartment. So in the main compartment we have a slot for a computer, I can't imagine if, there's no way I don't think a 15 inch computer would fit in there. But an iPad would fit in there. Uh, and then there's some organization here, it's not, a great amount of organization as you can see here. It's not really a divided pocket, it's a single mesh pocket into which one could put a phone, maybe hang a couple of pens, uh, some, a place for your, uh, your keys if you wanted it. And clearly there's um, a spot here. Oh, actually you could put pens on the side here. This is divided, so this is a separate division here. iPad or a tablet would go here and then perhaps you'd be able to put a, um, a laptop into this area. Now, interestingly, this is something that Daddy's always created, right? Mm -hmm. So that's, this is in the main compartment, folks, and you can see it's actually a pretty, pretty good sized compartment. The fabric is not as, it's a, it's a ripstop nylon for sure, and, uh, but the fabric and the hardware perhaps is not as robust as on the, um, the packs that I've been looking at. Uh, so it's a little bit more of a light duty pack compared to the crossover packs that I'm interested in. Um, go ahead and unzip that thing, though, and swing it around and show folks. That, my friends, is a pocket for your glasses. And that's something that I wish every single pack had out there, especially for somebody like me, who constantly is going back and forth between sunglasses and prescription indoor glasses. Having something like that is really handy. Handle on the top here makes it easy to pick up and move around when it's not on your back. Um, I'm not quite sure what is, swing this thing around. I'm not quite sure what this is for. I could imagine you could, I don't know actually. I don't know what you would attach to this. 
Kind of funny, isn't it? Uh, but there is a lash point there on the shoulder straps itself. The, um, because of the, um, the seat, it has a very rigid back, which I think is actually a great thing because it allows you to support the load much more. Um, potentially, it's going to be a little hotter because it doesn't have that sort of uh, perforated mesh here to allow you to have uh, the, you know, your, your back to stay cool. Um, I want to try something, though. I do want to check and see. Why don't you open up the main compartment, Abigail? We're going to see if you can fit in a 15-inch MacBook into this. Okay, so why don't you lay it down, sweetie? Oh, it does fit in here. But actually, it's, it's a little tight, and I could imagine that if you had the pack filled, the difficulty is that here, you can drop that down, is you have to not only get past this pouch that would hold onto your sunglasses, but there's quite a deep, what I call, roof across the top here that you have to get past in order to get access to your computer. So it's a little cumbersome. In fact, because of how stiff it is, it's near impossible. Wow. That's super difficult. I, I probably wouldn't even bother using that for a laptop. I would use it just to put a tablet in there, potentially. Um, and then let's check and see how a camera bag, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I always use this to, uh, this is my camera and a couple of lenses in here, three lenses in here. And we'll just see how well it fits in here, no problem. And a 29 liter, it's gonna accommodate that pretty nicely. And the other part that's kind of nice about this is um, if you're wearing this and you wanna swing it around to your front and get access to the main compartment it flops open pretty easily so that you can get to your camera without having to put the pack down. Not a bad pack. I think this is a great pack for my daughter. I think that having the, um, the chair here built into the back is a neat feature and um, something that she certainly will be able to take advantage of. All right, do you like your pack, Abigail? Does it seem like a good thing? It's fun? Yeah. Okay, thanks.